Hello, um, this is the discussion video for the introduction to R3, distance formula, planes, and uh, spheres. But before we start, let us first agree on the following conventions. Okay, so, let us agree to call our thumb just the thumb and uh, our other digit uh, as the fingers. Okay, so suppose this is our right hand. We made this uh, convention. You can see they describe uh, right handed coordinate system. Okay, so now that we agree on those. Let us look at the following example. So suppose uh, the x and the y axis are oriented in the following way. So first, let us imagine that these are actually orthogonal each other. So think that this x x axis is actually coming out of your screen. <coughs> okay. Now. Uh, to use the right hand rule properly, you should align your fingers towards the x direction and your palm should be in line with the uh, y axis. Okay, so next, uh, we should outstretch our thumb and curl your fingers towards the y direction. Now our, our hand should make the thumbs up sign, okay, and your outstretched thumb should uh, tell you the proper orientation of the J, um, J axis, okay, so in this case it should be oriented in the following way. And this is actually a very trivial example, so let's work on a harder one, so suppose the j and x axis are oriented in the following way. So how do we properly use the right hand rule? So we have the following uh, mnemonic. So this mnemonic says that the j axis should always curl towards the y axis. Uh, or the z axis should always curl toward the x axis. Okay, so of course, uh, as an analogy, our fingers should always curl towards our palm. Okay, so that means we should align our fingers uh, with the J axis and our palm should be in line with the X axis. Okay, and our mnemonic says that with our thumb outstretched, our fingers fingers should curl towards our palm. Now, uh, you have you have another uh, thumbs up sign, right? So, where does your thumb point towards? Also, that will be the orientation of your, uh, what's the missing axis? Y. It should be the orientation of your Y axis. Okay? So actually it should be pointing towards the screen. Okay, this is in three dimension, remember? It's not very apparent here. Anyway, let's uh, work on another example. So suppose we have the following orientation of the Z and Y axis. Access. Mm, our mnemonic says that the y axis should curl towards the z axis. Okay, so our hands should be in line with the y direction and our palm should be in line with the z direction in the following way such that our fingers can curl towards the z direction. Okay, with our thumb outstretched. Uh, the right hand rule says that okay the orientation of x should be uh, this, in this way okay, so to make this a little easier to uh, imagine maybe 
So the x and y axis, we make the following. Mm, they make the following plane. Okay, wherein the z axis is orthogonal to that plane. Okay, so in any case, the usual orientation of the x, y, and z axis is uh, this. But uh, this this illustration only emphasizes the positive direction actually. So the x axis actually outstretches the line okay, with this part being the negative x direction, this part being the negative y direction, and this part being the negative z direction. We have the following sign. So how do we um, locate points in R3? So suppose we want to locate the point uh, 2, 1, 3. So uh, actually this is an ordered triple. The first coordinate always corresponds to the x uh, coordinate. The second coordinate always corresponds with the y coordinate and the third uh, coordinate always corresponds with the z coordinate. Okay, so now let's make the following mark on our axis. Uh, axis. <coughs> so there's a there's a, there are different ways to do this. And actually, this is very intuitive. You just need to move two units towards the positive x-axis, one unit towards the positive y-axis, and three units towards the positive z-axis. So now, you have located your point, but if you want to do it more systematically, you can introduce parallel and orthogonal lines like so. so for example we can uh, we can introduce the line perpendicular to the x axis intersecting this point and another line perpendicular to the y axis intersecting this point these two lines will intersect in this point and this point will uh, this point represents the movement two units to the to, to the positive x axis and one unit to the positive y axis okay, so what is left is to move three units toward towards the z axis okay, so how do we systematically do that we can well, we can introduce the following line this line uh, parallel to the z-axis, this line parallel to the x-axis intersecting this point, and another line parallel to the z-axis intersecting this point. They will meet at this point, and this represents movement uh, three units to, to the positive z-axis and one unit, and two units to the positive x-axis. So we just need to move one unit towards the um, positive y axis, okay? And we will arrive at our at we will arrive uh, at your desired at your desired location. So this. So there we have it. So another example one with negative coordinates okay, let's mark it like so we can introduce this line uh, this is this is perpendicular to the z axis okay but parallel to the y axis and intersecting this point and another line uh, intersecting this point but parallel to the z-axis 
So they, those lines they meet somewhere here in the J Y plane. So what we need to do is to one unit the negative x direction. And to do this systematically, we can introduce the following parallel lines. So this one is parallel to the negative to the x axis. So these two lines are parallel to the x axis. This one uh, intersect. This one passes through this point, and this one passes through this point. We also introduce another line parallel to the z-axis, passing through this point and intersecting with this uh, line. So from here, from this point, if we move one unit to the positive y direction, then this will, uh, this line will intersect with this uh, line, and so this 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 point represents our location, our desired location. So we have moved uh, one unit to the negative x direction. Um, uh, four units to the negative z direction and uh, two units to the positive y direction. So we should end up uh, in our desired location. Okay. So, but uh, of course, there are many ways to we, to do this. Okay. So we can always uh, move in whatever order that we want. Now let us review basic planes in R3. There's really nothing much to discuss here because uh, if we want to study general planes in R3, we need some vector calculus. So for the meantime, we can only describe uh, the special cases. So uh, in R3, the equation x equal to k is just the plane uh, that is per that is parallel to the y z plane and that cuts through the point uh, k zero zero. Okay, this is the point k zero zero, and uh, the plane uh, with the equation given by y equal to k. It's just the plane parallel to uh, the y and uh, the, the xz plane. Okay, and uh, that cuts to the point 0k0. Zero zero. And similarly, the plane with equation z equal to k is just the plane that is parallel to the xy plane and that cuts to the point 0k. Zero zero